guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I decided that I wanted to record a what's in my bag video for you guys. I've been asked a lot recently um, what kind of materials I use and what I like to travel around with so I thought that it would just be easier to make a video about it that just contains everything in it. So this is my bag. Um, I've had it for a good little while. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a Mossimo, if that's how you pronounce it, I hope that is, um, backpack. And it just has a main pocket and then a small little pocket in the front. And I, of course, have it decorated with a bunch of cute little pins. So I have um, a cute little patch that I made. And um, these are some buttons uh, from my roller derby team and this is just a cute like thrifted button um, that I found and this guy um, my family sent me for Halloween and um, they also sent me these I love this one is my favorite it says we'll make art for food um, and then this guy which is um, it says encouragement on it and it's a little mint leaf that says great job so I think it's adorable um, and then I just have this cute little like cactus dog that was uh, a present for my little sister and um, she also got this for me and this is a little like Harley Quinn um, one of the like you know whatever pop things that they make <laughs> so to get to what's actually inside of my bag there is a lot. It holds um, quite a bit, which is nice, but it's also um, like nice and compact and compared to most bags, so I really like that. Um, so I guess we'll just start with the most simple thing, um, which is just my sketchbook. Um, this is a Handbook Co. sketchbook. You support me on Patreon. Um, I made a big post recently about all the different kinds of sketchbooks that I've tried and my thoughts on them. So if you would like to read that, um, you can go pledge to support me on my Patreon page um, and you'll get access to tons of really awesome content like that. And I'll just put the link to that in my description box. Um, and then next I have my little um, pencil pouch. I got this from Target. It's the UB brand. Um, and it's super cute. It's a little cat. It has ears and stuff. Um, it has two outer pockets, which I never really use because um, I just stuff the inside so much. I kind of don't have space to use them. But it does have two uh, outer pockets that you can just like quickly throw things in if you need to. And then on the inside, it's um, a really nice like butterfly pouch. So I have some paint brushes, and these are just like Craftsmart brand paint brushes. I honestly am like too poor to buy fancy brushes, and I'm totally okay with that. Um, I have a, I don't know if there's a, it just says Tech on it. I don't know if that's the brand or not, um, but it's just one of those like drafting pens, and um, it has a really thick lead. I'm pretty sure this is two millimeter. And somewhere, although I'm not currently carrying it with me, I do have, um, I think it's Pentel that makes it, I want to say, but that's not definite. Um, I do have like blue and pink um, lead that I can put in here. And it's really nice for like sketching with and stuff, although I'm not entirely sure where I have that right now. Um, and then I have a quill? Is that what it's called? I think it's called a quill. Um, and a couple of nibs that are just really nice. And I don't really use this as much on uh, for like my daily art. Um, I actually just put this in my bag recently for um, my, I needed it for my drawing class. We started using ink and I wanted it to have it with me. Um, I don't normally carry my ink around because I've had a lot of problems with it spilling and I'm just not about that. But as far as for like um, when I'm home, I do use it a lot more. Uh, and then I just have a small little ruler because I normally, I mean, I don't normally use this for my sketchbook, but I do use it for my planner sometimes. Um, and then of course another like binder clip because those are essential when you go out and you're like sketching out in, you know, nature. And it's all windy and stuff. 
um, small little pair of scissors, and these, which are like my favorite sketching pencils ever. It's just a black Prismacolor pencil, um, but for me, I find them really great because uh, it's kind of like the best of both worlds between like a pen and a graphite pencil. Um, graphite, I love the, the texture and um, the uh, different, like, how broad the different amount of values that you can get are, um, but I really don't like how much graphite tends to smudge, especially um, when I'm working in my sketchbooks and I work front and back. A lot of the times if I use graphite, I will have the problem of it transferring um, from, like, the, you know, two pages, like, onto each other, and it, like, just messes up my pencil sketches, and I really don't like that. Um, so I love this because you can get um, the same textures and stuff, but it's a, I believe it's a wax-based pencil, so it doesn't smudge as easily, if at all. Um, and I also like that it's black, so I can get uh, really dark marks with it, like I would with, you know, like a black pen or something. Um, so this is great. This is like my favorite sketching pencil ever. Um, the only thing is that you can't, because it's wax based, it's really, really hard to erase. Um, I've heard that there are like a couple of like different tricks to erase them, but it involves things that aren't an eraser, so um, it's definitely, if you ever want to like get this off, you kind of have to go out of your way to do it, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't take it off completely. So that's kind of where it leans more towards like working with a pen, but I like working with pens, so I'm okay with it. And then for my erasers, I just have um, the like gum erasers, crumbly gum erasers. These things are amazing. They get off so much and they're like my favorite eraser ever. And then on the other side, I just have a bunch of different kinds of pens. So in the front, I have um, just some regular microns, just in different sizes, but uh, varying between like 01 and like 08. And then I also, I stumbled upon these amazing things recently, the graphic pens, and this says graphic three, so it's three millimeters, um, which is like this really thick tip, and you get such an amazing line with these. I love them so much. They're so much fun to just like do really quick sketches with, um, because like the line variation is just insane. Um, these are also one of my favorite kinds of pens. This is a Signo broad tipped white pen. Um, I don't know, it also says Uniball on it. I don't know which one of those is the brand. I want to say Uniball is the brand and then Signo is like the sub pen type. <laughs> um, but these things are great. I used to use the Jelly Roll um, white gel pens, but I think that these um, these ones definitely lay the ink on um, much thicker, and it is more um, a lot more opaque. So I like it better. It kind of just depends on your preference. And then these are just some like I don't I don't even think these have a brand on them. These are just like crappy um, crappy pens from probably got them from like. Dollar General or CVS or something that I just sketch with sometimes. I think these ones are pretty much dead though, so. And then I also have um, light pen, drawing pens. Um, this is 0.3 millimeters, and I think this one is also 0.3 millimeters. So these ones are really nice. I was kind of looking to find an alternative for microns, not really because microns are bad, but just because I wanted to see like if there were, um, if I was just like using the best pen uh, that I could get my hands on, and I've kind of come to the conclusion that like they're pretty much the same, so I don't really have a preference between the two. Um, actually that's not true. This pen is pretty big in comparison to a micron, and I have small hands, so I actually do tend to go for the microns more. Um, but as far as like the actual inking with them and stuff, it's about the same. And then I also have um, same brand, the Le Pen brand. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, and these are just small black ones. I don't know. 
there's not really like a brand thing on them so they're just le pen i don't know what type of pen you would call them but i have two black ones and these i normally um i do sketch with them sometimes but i normally just use them for um like writing in like my english class and stuff or if i'm working i like using the purple one when i'm working in my planner so that's what i use those for and that's all of the stuff that i carry in my pencil pouch so going into my other stuff in my bag um i have this is my paint palette um the brand is painted over and i don't think it says it on the outside um but I just bought this off of Amazon. It's really nice. It holds a good amount of colors. I don't know how many off the top of my head, and I really don't feel like counting, but colors. <laughs> um, and then it also just has like this little hole for you to hold it with. Um, I don't normally use it because this palette is actually pretty heavy. I don't know if it's because it's metal or if it's just like the amount of paint that I have in it, or maybe I just have really weak arms. It's also possible, but. Um, I don't really like using that. Um, the only thing that I don't like about this is that it doesn't have any sort of like closure thing to it. So like it, I'm scared to do this. It will just like pop open. Does this just, yeah. Um, I don't know. I should probably buy a new one, but I've had this thing for so long. Um, I just, I'm attached. To it. So yeah, that's just what I have my paints in. Um, it's a bit big for like traveling with, I suppose, like in relativity to like the travel sized pink palettes, but I don't mind it. And then I have this little guy that I have all my paints in. Um, this is a, it says Victory Project on it. Um, I got this from, um, this was actually given to me by a alum from the school um and it was really awesome this was from i think it was my first first friday that i ever did here in portland and um i had my booth set up next to him and he was selling all of these really amazing bags that he makes himself and it was the end of the night and i was talking to him about his work and i mentioned like i was really sad that i couldn't buy anything because of course they're handmade so you know handmade stuff does get a little bit expensive and i didn't have a whole lot of money but i was talking to him about his work and he gave this to me and it was really sweet and made my night so this is kind of like a little um like souvenir from my first first friday which is great i will put um a link to his uh website in the link in my the link the link i will put it in my description box yes um but so this is really great quality and i love it i use it to hold all of my pens and my like water brush pens and my paints so these are oh gosh i don't know what brand these are either i feel so bad if i can hunt it down i will also put it in my description box um but these are just i know they're not pentel so there's that <laughs> um but these are just those like water pens and you just fill them with water here and then you know squeeze it to put the water out they're really great for traveling um i actually was just having a discussion with my teacher about these because she was like i see students using these things all the time like what are they why are they so great um i have mixed feelings about them um, I think that they're really great for traveling. I always have problems um, when I go out figuring out like how I want to carry water with me. Um, I have, you know, heard people tell me about like different kinds of containers and stuff that they carry, but I'm always scared about like a big thing of water like spilling in my bag, especially when I'm carrying sketchbooks and paints. Like that would just be a huge mess. So. These are great. I've never had any problems with them spilling or anything. The water is really secure in them. Um, so they kind of, they solve that problem of carrying water. The thing that I don't like about them is that sometimes I have had problems of um, the brush will actually suck up some of the paint color into the water tube and that will like dirty the water. Um, and then it will like squeeze back out when you try to add it to like a different color and that kind of 
taints it, which I guess is a problem that you would come across with, um, like, you know, any kind of water container or anything, like after it gets saturated to a certain point, it's, um, you know, it'll do that anyways. But I've noticed with this that it's a lot more saturated when it comes back out and it will really like muddy up your colors if you're not aware of it and working around it. So that's something that I have run into. It's not constant, but it is something to be aware of with these. Um, and the other thing too is that if you're like really gonna go ham with painting, um, I like sometimes will burn through the water that's inside of these really really quickly and if I don't have another like source of water with me, like if I'm not carrying a water bottle or if I'm not, you know, somewhere that has like a sink or something that I could fill it up with, um, then I'm kind of like out of luck and, and can't really use that, um, the pens anymore. So that's something to be aware of. But otherwise, as far as like traveling goes, for the most part, they're pretty great. Um, and then for paints, these I get asked about so much. I think this is like the most asked question other than um, like sometimes my pencils. But for paints, I use really cheap paints. These are Reeves gouache. Um, I never, I can scoot this way. I never really paint in, I haven't painted with watercolors in years. So I think this is all Reeves. That's not true. I have two other brands. Um, these small ones are all Reeves, and they're great. I, I think they're fine. <laughs> um, I've had a lot of people, I've had, I, mm, I have heard mixed things about paints and about Reeves specifically, um, but I've always liked working with them, so it could just be because I've never tried anything better, but, um, I think they're nice. And they're really cheap too. You can get a pack. Um, I got I get mine from Michaels, and I think I get a pack of like twelve colors for maybe ten bucks, um, and they last me a pretty good while too. And then this is um, Windsor and Newton gouache. Um, I've only ever used this brand for um, buying like white gouache. You, that's, that's my one tip, is if you're using gouache, you will burn through your white so quickly. And maybe your black, but for me, like, I normally burn through my white faster than anything else. So, um, it just got to the point where I was eventually just, like, ordering these online. And I would get, like, the big ones before, but this guy I just happened to pick up, um, at my local art store because I needed it, like, urgently. <laughs> so, um... That's what I use for white, just kind of out of necessity. <laughs> and then this is the other, the only other paint that I use. This is actually acrylic paint. It is really wrinkled up. It is iridescent copper, um, light and fine. Um, this is from the Golden Acrylics brand, Heavy Body Acrylics. They are really, really nice. They're great. They're also really, really expensive. However, I will say, I want to say that this tube is like $16, but these things last like forever, unless you're one of those people that like uses really, really thick paint. But I like, I, first of all, I tend to water this down when I use it and it just makes it like go on just forever. I've this is the only one I've ever had. I've never bought a second one. So that's what I use for paints. Let me just throw all of these back in here. And I want to say that as far as art supplies goes, that's really all that I carry with me on a daily basis. Um, let's see what's in here. I have my wallet and a glue stick. This I kind of carry with me because of my 2D class. Um, but I mean I do use it like sometimes if I have, if I'm, if I go out and have something that I just want to throw in my sketchbook really quick. Um, this is my container for my pencil sharpener. Um, I just put all of my like pencil lead in here when I sharpen my pencil. Um, nifty trick. This is 
a pencil sharpener for um, like eyebrow pencils for like makeup and stuff. Um, I find that using these is a whole lot better than um, like uh, I don't know if you've ever seen those pencil sharpeners that have like the container attached to them. Never ever use those. Those are terrible. But these things because they're made specifically for like the softer pencils um, like makeup pencils they work so much better like for when I'm sharpening my Prismacolor pencils and stuff so if you want like a really good sharpener I tend to buy makeup sharpeners for specifically for my art pencils so there's that um what else is in here this is just a USB if I'm ever um, in school and like I make something in class or something and I just want to scan it before I head out I just carry this with me and then the last thing in the big pouch is my paint towel this guy is so old and it was white at one point but now it's not and it's just completely saturated with acrylics and gouache and yep <laughs> I think it's really pretty though so that is all that I have in here. And of course, like sometimes the stuff that's in here, it vary depending on the day. I of course have classes every day, so you know sometimes I take stuff out to make room for other things. It depends on what I am um, required to have for class. So sometimes it'll be more like notebooks. So in the small pocket, I don't think this is going to be that exciting. Um, I have my, ooh, I have my iPod. This is so, this is the most like controversial object I own. Um, I have had people like low-key making fun of me, um, not like meanly, but just kind of like teasing me for it because I have an iPod. Um, I like, I don't know, I run out of storage space on my phone just so quickly and I like having like a separate device for all of my music um and I've had this guy for a little while I've always used iPods I don't know and I also I don't have an iPhone I have an Android I don't like iPhones anyways um so people who know what this is right off the bat um like tend to kind of like poke fun at me for it or I get people who like don't even know what this is anymore which I find really really entertaining but yeah this is my iPod his name is vinyl isn't that cute <laughs> Um, okay, so now I have my headphones, of course, and this is just a scrunchie and a couple of bobby pins and a hair clip if I'm ever out and I'm like, wow, my hair needs to go up. Um, that's what I have for that. And then just a pack of gum. So that is all of the stuff in my bag, and I think that also covers basically all of the supplies that um, I use daily. I Really off the top of my head, I can't think of anything else um, that wasn't in here that I use. Um, anything else is probably like a really specialty specialty um, kind of material that I'll you know normally only use for like one project, and it'll also probably because like the school isn't making me. So <laughs> I think that's everything. Um, if you guys have any questions about the supplies I use, um, feel free to leave me a comment and I will be happy to answer. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, of course, hit like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>